Hi, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about prime factorization, HCF and LCM. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to study about prime factorization, HCF and LCM. What is meant by prime factorization? If the factors of a number are prime numbers, then it is said to be prime factorization. These prime numbers are multiplied to create the original number. You can see over here we have 88. And 88 can be written as 44 into 2, where 2 is a prime number. Further, splitting this 44, we can write 22 into 2. Again, your 2 is a prime number. Multiplying 11 with 2, we get 22. So again, 2 will be a prime number. So, your 11, 2, 2 and 2 over here are the prime numbers which can be multiplied to get 88. Your 2 is simplified as 2 cube. So 11 into 2 cube will be 88. Since the factors are prime numbers, this factorization is said to be prime factorization. Let us see a few prime numbers which are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 and it goes on. So to derive a prime factorization, a number is written as the product of prime factors. The prime factors of 100 is 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. So multiplying these terms, you get 100. Here it is further simplified as 2 square multiplied by 5 square. Your factors are prime numbers, hence it is known as prime factorization. Similarly, for the number 20, we can write the prime factors as 2 into 2 into 5. Here it is further simplified as 2 square into 5. So this makes your prime factorization and here you are able to see how we can construct a factorization tree for 20 and these are the prime factors. You can see over here that these factors are prime factors where your 20 is written as a multiple of 2 and 10 and 10 is a multiple of 2 and 5 where your 2 and 5 in these factors are the prime factors. So this is how you construct a prime factorization tree. Moving on, we are going to discuss about HCF which is nothing but highest common factor. Highest common factor is the largest number among the common factors of a given numbers. So let us see an example which helps us to understand this logic. You have to find the HCF of 24 and 16. How to do that? So here we are going to do prime factorization by discovering the prime factors of 24. 
The factorization technique in L method is done as follows. 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 6 will make 12. 2 times 3 will give you 6. 3 times 1 you get 3. So your factors of 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 1. So these are the prime factors of 24. Similarly, for 16, we have to construct the prime factorization. So the prime factors of 16 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which is over here. And among these factors, we have to find the factors which are common in both the factor list. So you can find that 1, 2, 2 and 2 are common in the factor list. So multiplying the common factors over here, you get your highest common factor which is your HCF of 24 and 16. So this is how you have to find your highest common factor. Let us see another example for HCF. The prime factors for 12 are 1, 2, 3 and 2. On multiplication, you will get 12. The factors of 18, which are prime factors are 1 into 2 into 3 into 3. So if you see over here, the common factors are 1, 2 and 3. So the largest common factor can be obtained by multiplying your factors, which is 1 into 2 into 3, which gives the value to be 6. So 6 is the largest common factor or highest common factor of 12 and 18. Let us see another interesting example for HCF over here. We have the number 210 for which we have to find the HCF. 210 can be written as 21 multiplied by 10. 21 is nothing but 3 into 7. 10 can be factorized as 2 into 5. That is 2 into 5 gives you 10. So this last row of your factors gives you the prime factor list which is 3 into 7 into 2 into 5. On multiplying, you get 210. Let us see another interesting example. So, we have to find the HCF of the number 150. To find the HCF of 150, we can write 150 as the factor of 15 and 10. So 15 and 10 on multiplying you get 150. You can split 15 as 3 into 5. So 3 and 5 are factors of 15. Similarly for 10 we can write it down as 2 into 5. So these are the prime factors which can be multiplied to get your final result as 150. So, this is the factor list of 150. To find the HCF, we have to find the common factors among the factor list of both the numbers. So, the factor list of 210 
and 150 is over here. And the common terms among both the factor list are 2, 3 and 5. So on multiplying the common factors you get the value to be 30. 2 into 3 into 5 is equal to 30 which is your HCF for the numbers 210 and 150 which is your highest common factor for both the numbers 210 and 150. Moving on, we are going to discuss about LCM. LCM is the abbreviation of lowest common multiple and it is the smallest number that a common multiple of two or more numbers. So this common multiple can be found for two numbers. Let us see an example in which we have to find the LCM of 24 and 14. The factors of 24 and 14 are over here. Using the L method in which we will be taking the prime numbers as multiples. 2 into 12 is 24. 2 into 7 is 14. And further, your 12 can be reduced as a factor of 2 into 6. And 6 can be factorized as 2 into 3. Your 3 is factorized as 3 into 1. And further, we are factorizing 7 as 7 into 1. So these are the prime factors. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. So on multiplying these factors, we get our LCM of the numbers 24 and 14, which is equal to 168. So the value 168 is the LCM of 24 and 14. Moving on, we have another interesting example. You have to note that the common multiples of two numbers are the multiples of both the numbers. That is, this number is common for two numbers, then this number will be a multiple for both the numbers. Let us see the example in which we have to find the LCM for the number 6 and 12. So the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24 and etc. And the multiples of 12 ranges from 12, 24, 36 and etc. And among these multiples list, we have 12 to be the least common multiple. Hence, your least common multiple of 6 and 12 will be 12. We have another example over here where you have to find the LCM for the numbers 12 and 20. So to find the LCM of the two numbers 12 and 20, we are using the L division method where 12 can be written as factors of 2 and 6. 6 is nothing but 2 into 3. 3 is 3 multiplied by 1. And here you have 20 which can be factorized as 2 into 10. 10 can be factorized as 2 into 5. 5 is factorized as 5 into 1. So, among these factors, the least common multiple can be obtained by multiplying 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, these two are common. Hence, taking it a single time, that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5, 
you get the LCM of 12 and 20 to be 60. So this is the least common multiple of both the numbers 12 and 20. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have got a very good idea about prime factorization and how HCF and LCM can be performed on two numbers. Thank you.